This is our warehouse where we store quarantined, approved, and finished goods. So unlike a regular R&D lab where you can just purchase materials and use in the lab straight away, as a GMP facility, we actually have a quality control check process before we can start using the materials in manufacturing. As a result, in our warehouse, we have quarantine space where we store unchecked goods that we receive from our suppliers. They then get transferred to the approved goods room once they've been quality checked. And then we also have a finished goods room where we will store the finished product. In total, we have two minus 80 freezers, two minus 20 freezers, and three four degree fridges. All our equipment is hooked up to backup power, which means that it's operating 24 seven uninterrupted, even in the event of a power failure. This is especially important for our cells, which are stored in the minus 80 freezer, as any fluctuation in temperature can cause the cells to die. All our equipment, also has a third-party monitoring system which sends us an alert every time something goes wrong. This means that an operator can always rush in to transfer the critical material to a backup storage in case something goes wrong with the equipment. This is the entrance to our ISO 8 Class D GMP manufacturing facility. So for this facility we have restricted access for trained operators only and the operators have to adhere to a very strict PPE before they enter. This includes putting on a hairnet, face mask, lab coat, gloves, and shoes. Except for the shoes, everything else is single use. So basically every time you exit, you have to throw it out. And when you go back in, you have to put on a new set. You can see here that our facility has been designed with the flow of the process in mind. So we have a separate entrance for personnel who go into this gowning room to put on the PPE that I had just explained. We then also have a separate entrance to bring in materials to be used inside the isolator. Because this is a Class D facility, all the materials that we take in have to be surface disinfected and sterile before they can be used inside the isolator for manufacturing. So this is our Class D clean room inside which we have our Class A isolator. So Austria Nova is the only company in Southeast Asia that uses an isolator for manufacturing. And all our manufacturing processes actually take place inside the isolator. The idea behind using an isolator is so that the operator and the product don't actually come into direct contact with each other. This isolator has been custom designed to suit our manufacturing process. So each chamber is for one step of the manufacturing process. We have one chamber in which we culture the cells, and then once the cells are ready to be encapsulated, they get transferred to this chamber in the front where the encapsulation takes place. After which the capsules get filled into syringes and the final product gets transferred out for storage. Because this is a class A environment, we have to strictly control both particles and contaminants. So during the manufacturing process, we have constant environmental monitoring and before we can actually start a manufacturing, the entire unit has to be cleaned and sterilized. So all these steps add to the time it takes before the production can start and before the final product can be released. This is our quality control lab. In here, we do the release testing on the finished product. This includes counting the number of capsules that are filled into the syringes to make sure that there's a consistent number of capsules filled per syringe measuring the diameter of the capsules to make sure that they're all formed in the right consistent size, counting the number of cells that are filled into the capsules to make sure that the right number of cells are in each capsule, and then we also do a biological test to make sure that the drug functions as it's intended to.